All right, everyone, how you guys doing? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the iPhone 5S after three days, 72 hours since I've had it, and I've pretty much used it everywhere, including the loo. Don't lie, I know you use it, everyone does. It's one of those things where you take about with you um, everywhere. So just a bit of history, I've owned all the previous iPhones, apart from the very first one. Uh, so I do have quite a bit of experience with my iPhones, and I thought, hey, for those of you who are waiting to get your delivery or are thinking, should I upgrade, should I not upgrade, should I just wait for the next one, hopefully this video is going to be some sort of insight. Note, um, this is a three day kind of mini review, I'll do a more detailed one uh, after a few weeks. Um, but I don't think much is going to change because I've kind of had a good feel for everything. Um, it would just be a more of an elaboration or I could be wrong. Um, but I'm going to discuss all these topics on screen in this order. So if you want to skip to any particular section, you can just use the YouTube video player scroll bar to do so. So design. If you have an iPhone 5 and you're upgrading to the 5S purely because of design, then you should probably locate the nearest wall and put your head against the wall back and forth and repeat this several times because the iPhone 5 and the 5S are both exactly the same in terms of design and um, all that's changed is the colour options and even when you go out and get a 5S they kind of flog you leather cases which hide the colour um, so if you're going to get it on design it's exactly the same as the 5 which is gorgeous by the way um, but don't base your decision entirely on design. So battery life, um, coming from the iPhone 5 it is possibly a tiny bit better, not enough for me to say yes go out and get it purely because of battery life because it's great. It's not that great um, come the iPhone 5S. Um, I was kind of disappointed in this because this is one of the main things that I wanted in this new kind of reiteration of the iPhone and it's not there. Um, I would have happily sacrifice some of the other features for more battery but it's not happened so again it's disappointing on this front and yes I have calibrated the battery and put it back up and down and uh, no joy. So the speed in the processor of course the iPhone 5S uh, the new one is using um, an A7 chip 64 bit and so on um, and yes it's really good in terms of iMovie exporting but day to day tasks you don't notice between the 5 and the 5S and I think partly to blame for that awesomeness is iOS 7 because that is snappy anyway, coming from an iPhone 5. And um, so day-to-day -day things like loading applications, writing emails, messages, opening up applications, um, it all seems to be bang on perfect. I'm not a gamer so I can't comment on the gaming front and maybe that's kind of a downside here. Uh, but I don't play games so uh, hopefully I'll try and do some Infinity Blade gaming tests and so on. Um, but in terms of iMovie uh, and exporting, so if you kind of create a lot of videos, family videos, and you're always on the go, um, I've yet to find someone who uses iMovie quite a lot. But if you are one of them, um, then it is double the speed from the 5, which is great. And I think come, you know, a few months down the line when app, uh, app developers have had more time with it, I think over time it'll get better. But it's not an essential right now. So if you're thinking of paying two or three hundred pound just because you want the iPhone 5S first, um, you could wait because there is no overall real kind of reason in getting one. Does that make sense? The camera and the video, they're good. Um, but is it really worth upgrading from the iPhone 5 to the 5S because of the camera? No, yes, it's got a better aperture, you know, it's better in low light sensitivity and it performs better. But it's just one of those things where it's not essential to have, it's kind of okay to have. Uh, the video, the slow-mo stuff, yes, if you use um, uh, a lot of video stuff, then yes, that is handy. But one of the gripes I have with the slow-mo thing is you can't edit it in iMovie, the iOS app. It doesn't show up uh, in slow motion in your camera roll. So meaning you can't edit it and you can't put it into iMovie, um, which is a shame. Yes, it shoots in 120 uh, frames per second, which is a nice bonus there. But I think over time come the Final Cut Pro on iOS, which is no doubt going to be released in the next couple of months. Hopefully then they introduce some really cool stuff. Um, but it's, it's the iPhone 5 camera is, what I'm trying to say is the iPhone 5 camera isn't bad. Um, and the 5S is just kind of the next step kind of up. But it's, it's not much of a thing saying that, yeah, I'm going to buy an, uh, an iPhone 5S because of the camera. So in terms of Touch ID, I must say I'm one of those few that doesn't use a passcode. 
So if you ever see me in the street and jump me and steal my phone, it's kind of Christmas for you. Um, so I was using Touch ID since I've got the 5S and it's a nice feature to have but it's for those lazy, lazy sods. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. It's nice. In terms of actually using it in iTunes, I've had a few issues where it doesn't recognise your thumbprint or it always for some reason gives you an error uh, initially. Um, so hopefully over the next couple of days or even weeks um, it will be ironed out. And probably one of the most awkward situations for Apple occurred yesterday where Touch ID was hacked. Yes, there are videos on YouTube now that tell you how you can get into the phone um, with some everyday items, uh, how you can bypass the, the passcode system, which is really weird. So in summary, this is what I'm going to say. iOS 7 is most probably going to be ideal for every single one. Uh, you don't need a new hardware. iOS 7 is going to make your system, but your iPhone, uh, a bit more responsive. It will just give it a new look. Um, the hardware side to things, especially if you're coming from a 5, don't, is my opinion, wait for the iPhone 6. If you're coming for anything before that, iPhone 4 or 4S or 3G or 3GS, you're going to love the 5S. Um, but if you're coming from 5, don't expect to be wowed, uh, because essentially you're holding the same device. And yes, it's got these tiny features, but I think at the moment with 64-bit apps, it's going to take time. Uh, it's not going to happen overnight. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts and I'll do a more detailed review um, whenever uh, it happens in the next couple of weeks. Um, but if you've not seen the playlist I've done, kind of speed tests, video tests, they're on the screen, you can go to the video playlist. And what do you guys think about iPhone 5S? Are you, have you played with it? Are you waiting on one? Are you still in two minds about it? Um, you know, do let me know your thoughts below. I've got a vlogging channel for those of you who don't know, the random vlogs, again it's on the screen. Uh, and yeah, if you want to get in touch, you can either message me through YouTube or tweet me, that's probably the best ways. See you in the next video. Cheers.